Before the video starts, I just want to say thank you guys for 75 subscribers. I really do appreciate it. And to celebrate it, I'm going to be live streaming 30 minutes after this video is uploaded. And in that live stream, I'm going to be reacting to some of my older videos. And yes, they're not like that old. They're like two months old. But honestly, it's going to be kind of fun just looking back and seeing it. And I'm probably going to relive me trying to make these in three days. So other than that, let's talk about the three worst enemies and partners in time. From my last video about the top five best enemies and partners in time, well, you guys already know the backstory of this. You guys so badly wanted an enemy ranking on this game. And I keep saying no, because half of these enemies, like more than half, I just don't know what to talk about for them. But I'll tell you what, I did do a top five best because those are really good enemies, and these enemies are just either lazy, pointless, or just annoying. So, yeah, welcome to my top three. And there's only one rule, and it has to be in partners in time. And it's my opinion. There's spoilers, of course, but other than that, don't forget to subscribe so the troops don't die. And let's get started with this video. Number three. You guys already know my opinion of the mothership. And just like in my area ranking, I still think that it's my second least favorite place in Partners in Time. And it's for two reasons. One, the place is very boring and unmemorable. And the second reason is that you can't come back. But to be honest, I'm glad that we can't come back because I don't like facing these enemies. And the thing about the Guardian troops is they're just the troops from Holly Jolly Village with a new attack that's really easy to dodge. That's all this enemy has to offer. The other troops had so much stuff to offer. We have Doctor Troop, which, just to let you know, made it on my top five. And well, he has a concept of eating mushrooms and growing or shrinking. The blue troops in Yoop's belly has the robots. These guardian troops have that attack that it makes them attack basically with two of them instead of just one and that's it as well as they're just faster but they just should be faster in general just because they're later enemies the thing about it is that these enemies aren't really bad they're just so boring and unmemorable and that's why they're number three number two this footage is gonna repeat a lot because number two are the Goombas in Peach's sewer. And this is the only enemy that you actually see in the present aside from the Junior Shrewboy. But other than that, you don't see any other enemies. So it's really disappointing that this is the only enemy you see. And yes, it's a Goomba. And I'm not even talking about the one in Baby Bowser's castle. Those are fine because they have enough difficulty where they're not hard, but they're not too easy for the place that you're supposed to be in. The thing about it is that they're just buffed Goombas. That's all they are, but they give so little EXP that they're just a nuisance to fight, especially because of someone like me that actually likes taking out every single enemy. So me still seeing enemies lying around makes me want to kill them. That sounds like a problem, I really should probably get that checked out, but me just leaving these Goombas are really just irritating to me, but it's just not worth it to fight them because they literally give you one EXP for every single Goomba they destroy. But at the end of the day, they're just not worth fighting them. Just because one EXP and a little bit of coins is just not worth it. And there's actually a good amount of Goombas in the area. so. Again, me trying to fight every single one will get pretty annoying. That's why it's number two. Number one. I hate these little buggers that just keep running away from you. The gold Koopelians are my least favorite enemy in Partners in Time. And any enemy that runs away will be very irritating to fight. And it's for two reasons. One, you don't get the EXP for it and the coins. And two, you felt like you just wasted your time. And that's the thing about them. These enemies are not easy to kill. And yes, you could use a bros item. But guess what? They're not actually useful to use a bros item on because they can run away the first turn. Yes, I have had a horde of three of them and all of them run away at once. It's so annoying. Yes, I get the battle over immediately. But I get nothing for it, and I can't even kill them again. It's like, 
that I actually killed them even though they just ran away. So it's very annoying to fight them. And yes, you do get a ton of EXP and coins if you kill them. But good luck killing every single one. If you do it, it's probably going to be every single time you fight five of these, you'll get one that you actually kill all of them with. And if you do, props to you, because I would never do it on every single attempt. It's just so irritating when they run away, and that's why they're number one for me. Thank you guys for watching this video. My next video will be about the Thousand Year Door, which probably means it won't get that many views. But I don't care. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the Troops Don't Die. And I'll see you guys in that next video. Peace.